Hello everyone and welcome to MX Gaming Reviews. I am of course Phoenix and today I am very excited because today they've released the Patrol Escort Refit and I'm going to be getting it today so I'm very excited. As soon as I saw this come out uh, up on my feed and on Facebook I was very very excited because it is about time that they came out with a refit class for the dervish class uh, type vessel so I am very very excited and I'm going to uh, actually get it today and you're gonna actually come with me on this nice little stroll to get the ship so we're gonna go into the Zen store go into ships and there it is look at that a thing of beauty so I am very 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 excited so let's get this ship we click OK and there we go so just click on done for now so the patrol escort this is called the Tempest class and let's see here it it comes with a special console and a and a fused weapon which is kinda interesting so um, I'm going to be reading here a little bit from the actual uh, dev blog season 9 dev blog number 20 so um, the patrol escort refit tempest class sorry um, well that just talks about doesn't really talk about the ship itself there's only a small blurb okay so the patrol escorts were envisioned as escorts with an engineering bent the patrol escort refit Tempest class improves on the original designs with greatly improved bridge officer seating a fifth tactical console slot and additional aft power firepower that will give the Tempest captains new options in combat the Tempest comes equipped with the Nadion Saturation Bomb console. Firing the Nadion Saturon Bomb lays down a string of explosive fires that strafes between the ship and its target and then continues to detonate past the target. Enemy, any enemy ships caught in the explosions will take severe damage. After detonation, an intense Nadion radiation field lingers in space, creating a deadly hazard for enemies. The Nadion Nadion saturation bomb console may be equipped to any console slot on any patrol escort. So I think this is a, a, a class specific type uh, console, which really you know kind of sucks. But you know they seem they seem to be doing that uh, from time to time. The Tempest class also comes with a fi aft firing Tempest tail gun. This unique dual cannon is set up to fire on targets in the rear 90 degree arc of the patrol escort and defaults to the rapid fire one firing mode. Um, so I'm not entirely sure if it just if when it's when you're firing at a tight target from behind if it just if it does rapid fire all the time or it it, it's like other cannons, so that, that'll be interesting to see. Like other cannons, the aft firing Tempest Hail Gun can be modified by scatter volley and higher rank rapid fire bridge officer abilities. The aft firing Tempest Hail Gun is fused to its own slot and does not fill one of the ship's three aft weapon slots, and it cannot be removed, which is uh, like the Solenade uh, Science Destroyer Dyson ship where they have the dual cannon at the front and you can't remove that. The patrol escort refit comes with a new Tempest class costume by default. As a patrol escort it can be used uh, custom parts from the Dervish, Griffin and Hermes class variant costumes. If you already unlock the Maelstrom costume it will be available to you. Purchasing the patrol escort refit Tempest class will unlock the Tempest costume for all patrol escorts. So now this ship, uh, as you can see, I paid uh, uh, 2,500 Zen for it. So that's the cost of this ship. You have to be, you have to be, uh, minimum rank is which is level 50, which is the highest rank you go, which is a vice admiral. So going over the stats, the hull strength is 31,500. 
uh, shield modifier of 0 0.95, has a base crew of 200. For weapons, it has 4-4, four, 3-aft, four, including the tail, uh, tail gun, you have 4. It comes with uh, 2 device slots, a base turn rate of 16 degrees per second, an impulse modifier of 0 0.2, uh, plus 15 power to weapons, can load cannons, and then it comes with the uh, Nadeon saturation bomb console and the fused aft tempest tail gun. Um, for bridge officers, it comes with one commander tactical, one lieutenant commander engineering, one lieutenant science, and one lieutenant commander universal. Uh, for consoles, you have five tactical, which is very, very rare, and you have two engineering and two science. So, now, let us look at this here. So, I don't even think it's in the requisition area yet. So, but let's take a look here. We'll go to Vice Admiral here. Let's see here. See fleets. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Maybe I need to move faster. <laughs> ah, there it is. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at that. Let's. We'll get a better shot when I have it in space. So. Uh, very much like the Dervish class, it has the round saucer section. Although that seems to be, I think, I think that's a little bit bigger. And it's kind of got this, uh, this little slot at the front, at the bottom there. And has the deflector dish, which is uh, on top, and it's very small. And then at the back here, it flattens out, and you got the two impulse engines right there. Going to the top here, you have the is this the pylon. I can't remember if these are the pylons. I think these are. But you have these pylons here, just up top here, and I like how how it kind of just fuses to the um, to the saucer sections. Very very nice. Very very sleek. Yeah, and then you have oh no that sorry that it's the hall it attaches to sorry my 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 bad so now it's kind of got this this little dip here or this little section here I'm not sure if you guys can see my mouse move around here but you know it's uh, so it kind of looks like yeah let's zoom in there. Yeah, so interesting. Oh, it's got three little, three little juts. I don't know if those are supposed to do anything or not. Um, now this kind of reminds me of of the um, cruisers that I've been doing reviews on with the bottom where it kind of curves up instead. But this one instead just kind of just goes up and then and then it flattens out. So this section here it's very flat, very thin. So obviously this is not designed, you know, to be roomy or anything like that. And then you got the pylons here, which is really really neat here. So it looks like looks like these are more impulse engines. I'm not entirely sure if they are or not, but they looks really really sleek with that. Kind of look like a oh, uh, I want to say a hot rod, hot rod car. And then look at the nacelles, the warp nacelles. Look, look at that, the nice flat oh look at that oh and they they uh they're they're, they're actually uh straight flat on the uh, on the sides which is kind of neat but they're you know they've got nice round smooth edges and you know they're you know they're they're not as they're not as thick as the other warp nacelles but they're nice they're nice i like those those are real those that's a really really nice design to it so that is cool. I like this. This is this is a very nice looking ship. Although my 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 small issue with this is the round saucer. I you know it every time a new ship comes out, um, 
generally it has a round saucer. I enjoy the other looks of the patrol escort. Let's see if we can go look at them. Um, what's was it the Griffin? No, not the Griffin. It was the Hermes. I really like the design of the Hermes with the with the the saucer. You know, it has a bit of a saucer's part to it, but you know, it has something. You know, has different designs to it. But but you know what? I I think it flows nicely. It looks it looks really well thought out. Um, and and I'm glad they took the time. I hope they took the time to uh, to uh, to design this because it was about time that they finally came out with um, a refit class for the patrol escort because that was something I thought was kind of left out. <laughs> now let's see here. Um, oh yes, uh, the difference between this refit and the regular version with the um, the biggest one I noticed is with the hull. Um, this has just slightly more hull, which is um, 31,500, whereas the other one, let's see here, let's go up to Rear Admiral. Yes, this one has 31,000 for hull. So, again, there's there's kind of another little beef there. I really wish they would have uh, increased the hull more um, to say maybe you know 34,000 or something like that because it is a refit version I think it should have um, a better haul uh, capacity than than it's uh, than the regular patrol escort but that's just me so I digress so you know what um, I think I wanna touch a little bit on the fleet patrol one because I think I'm gonna get this one as well um, and I the one thing I really, really like about this one, the Maelstrom uh, Fleet Patrol Escort, is the saucer section. I think it looks nice. It's, you know, for patrol escort or for escorts themselves, um, they're small ships and they should they should be mean looking. You know, like yeah, we're small, we look mean, and we got the firepower to back it up. So you know, I think, I think, uh, I think this would really look cool on this one so you know I'm actually gonna go and I'm gonna purchase this one this one's got five consoles as well now this one does come with the tail console as uh, the tail gun weapon as well but it doesn't come with the um, uh, Nadion saturation bomb so but uh, but since I bought this one I can buy this one for one fleet module, and I have one fleet module. Um, if you don't, if you don't buy this one, it's five fleet. Mo uh, yes, five fleet modules. So, and twenty thousand uh, fleet credits. So I have just enough to buy this. So I think I'm going to buy this as well. So, all right. So done. All right. So with this one, it has four 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 aft. The base hull is thirty-four thousand six hundred and fifty. So this has so fleet fleet versions come with a much higher hull um, hull points than the other ones. Has a shield modifier of zero point nine nine, um, base crew of two hundred, base turn rate of sixteen, two device console slots. For bridge officers, it has one commander, one lieutenant commander engineering one lieutenant science and a lieutenant commander universal for consoles you have three engineering uh, five tactical and two science so um, so you get an extra console and much higher hull points so that is the fleet version so let's get out of here and let's let's select our ship shall we so so there's 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 the only one. Now this one's the mirror one. This is not the one that uh, I did a review on. I did that on another account, but this is this is the mirror version one. I uh, I had gotten the uh, I had gotten a different ship. I think it was the uh, multi vector one. So um, I didn't pick this one up when I got to my level forty part. So anyways, let's go. So now this is the default stuff that it comes with. It comes with a phaser beam, a torpedo, 
uh, coin, or sorry, photon torpedo and two dual, one dual cannon, one dual heavy cannon, standard deflector impulse warp and shield. For aft, you get a phaser beam array, a photon torpedo launcher, and a turret. So here's the Tempest tail gun. So it gives you accuracy, damage, arc, and rapid fire. So it says, let's see here. So it looks like rapid fire one is constantly on. Um, so it it's just gonna go and go and go go go. So if you're if you're running away from someone, at least you have that that backup there. So to target deals uh, 193.5 phaser damage. Um, so 351.9 damage per second uh, to self minus 10% weapon power when firing other weapons. Um, to target 2.5% chance to disable one subsystem for five seconds and plus 10% accuracy. So that's not too too bad. And it's interesting that there's it's a it's a dual cannon on a back end. So here is the console, Universal Console, Nadion Saturation Bomb. Let's see here, uh, 45 degree targeting arc, fires 6 Nadion bombs for 2,563.9 oh, phaser damage per bomb. Each target can be hit by 1 to 3 bombs. Each bomb creates a Nadion radiation field for 10 seconds that deals 501 phaser damage per second. Wow, <clears throat> and so the red text there it says any patrol escort. So I don't think this can go on any ships, but let's let's just test that out, shall we? So there it is. So let's see here. Yeah, it grays it right out, so you can only put it on escorts. And of course, this one's grayed out, so you can't move it at all. Which I don't know. It it'd be kind of cool if you had. A whole line of them. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool, but uh, you only have a 90 degree firing arc, and that's why I like turrets for because it has a 360 degree f uh, targeting fire arc. So let's get this uh, puppy uh, situated here. Now, it does do fire or phaser? So I don't think I I don't I haven't invested too much in phasers. So. I have that. Do I have any more? So let's see here. All right, what do you have here? So I want my wide angle torpedo on there. So where is that? Let's bring that down a bit. Ah, there it is. Awesome. Do I have another phaser turn? That is purple. Ah, you know what? I could put quad quad phasers. That works. Alright, so because I want the most I'm putting on my Borg stuff. Except for warp core engine. So for turrets what do I have for turrets? Do I have phaser turrets? Uh, I got blue. Ooh, not liking that too much. Might have to invest in some of that, some more stuff there. All right. So where is I'm gonna put my connect beam on for devices? I'm gonna take one of those. My shield, uh, shield battery, subspace field modulator. So I don't know how this is gonna work out. Um, weapon wise because I don't have the best weapons unless I switch to um, you know I, I'm going to have to switch because I don't think I even have phaser relays oh I do have phaser relays they're blue alright I'll have to just deal with that Oop. don't like it Oh sugar! I wish they wouldn't do that. I wish they would just take that at right out. All right, field generators. Now they are blue. They're not purple because purple, all I think, is like over forty million or something like that. Something absolutely insane. All right, 
So these are all Mark 11, so I get uh, plus 26.2 percent phaser damage. So there's that. So you know what? I'm I'm wa really wondering if I should just go with this one and then just modify it. Yeah. Oh, in hindsight, ah, sugar. All right, so let's see here. There we go. Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna take this one. So let's see here. Those that that there we go wide angle quantum torpedo uh, yes I want that one that's the better warp core in my opinion all right so oh I do have phaser turrets that are purple. Awesome. Oh, that helps a lot. And where's my kinetic beam? There we go. <laughs> now, I'm not sure if it's better to have the kinetic beam or if it's better to have a torpedo back there. I'm not entirely sure. So, let's get these consoles on here. <laughs> Alright, uh, field generators. And let's see here. There's my console. There we go. Alright. So let's put those on. Alright. So there. We're going to go with this one because it's got the higher hull points. But let's see here. Where is the person to modify the ships? Not here. Alright. I'm actually in my fleet base here. So, let's see here. Oh. Do I have to go to the engineering deck? I can't remember. Let's go to engineering. Yep. I have to go here to modify my ship. Alright. Because I really like uh, modifying my ships, or customizing them, I should say. Oh, sugar. Let's... Because I'm not a fan of having the visuals on. So we're going to get rid of the visuals for now. Alright. Alright. Alright, so. Advanced. Let's see here. Because we are going to do review on the Tempest. I'm going to just go with the Tempest templates. I should just click on Tempest. There we go. So it looks like it comes with the regular bridge. So uh, I don't have any money to to buy it. Sad. Alright. Oh, that's right, because I put it in the bank. That's why. Alright. So, uh, looks like Fleet gets rid of most of the windows. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty, pretty bare when there's no windows. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Alright, so, purchase that for now. Alright. Alright, now I have to go to ops and then I have to go to the transporter pad to beam to my ship which I think is a little silly so let's beam to ship So let's get rid of 
the HUD here and let's look at this ship. Let's see if I can get closer here. Oh, look at that. That is a beautiful ship right there. Look at that. Look how nice and sleek that is. I really I really do like it. And the uh the white uh the white hull really makes it uh, shine as well. So there we go. Very very nice. Nice nice nice. I really like this. Yeah, this this the deflector dish is pushed in a little bit too. I know I just noticed that. So, but I like how it kind of you know you get the glow from the from the blue deflector dish out here on the on the hull there. That looks that looks pretty sharp. Oh, this thing should be a force to be reckoned with, I think. So let's see here. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Nice. Nice and sleek. Oh, there's looks like uh looks like <laughs> ventilation or something like that. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's just a design little fin or something, a little tail. No, it's not a tail. It's it's like uh it's kinda like the hood of a car, of a of a muscle car. You know, instead of going up it goes down instead. But no. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Alrighty. Oh okay. So we need to do our stations. So I'm gonna start off with the commander tactical here. So I have high yield torpedo one, rapid can cannon rapid fire one, tactical team three, and uh, alpha pattern omega three as well. So for engineering, uh, which one do I go with? Uh, emergency power to shields one and two and then reverse shield polarity do I want that or let's see here I can't remember which engineer I usually use hmm yeah I'll go with that one so engineering team emergency to power to shields two and then directed energy modulation and then so do I want that one? Oh. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. So hazard emitters and transfer shield strength two for science. Now for Lieutenant Commander Universal Station, which one should I go with? I think I might go with another. Do I want with another science? No. What about engineering? Yeah, you know what? We'll go with engineering. So, so we're going to be more focused on engineering than tactical. So, all right. So, let us find a mission here or an STF oops we don't want that one we'll do a Borg STF alright now let's see here which one do we want to do we want to do yeah let's do this one. Oh, awesome pops right up now we just gotta wait for other players. So um, this is actually a good time to uh, let you know that my uh, my fellow fleet mate uh, over at my Belkin Gaming also did the review on this ship. It's very very cool. Uh, he did very well, uh, very good job on it. And uh, so go check out his uh, his review, and I'm gonna be posting that in the uh, in the comments, and as well as making an annotation for you to go see that. 
So here we go, let's get this STF done. Oh, shh. Oops, I forgot to change my weapons. can't do this in time. Oh, sugar. I got so excited. I forgot. So there's the dual cannon going off right there. Alright, there goes the bomb. Oh, nice. Ah, it was worth it. take care of that sphere, shall we? Oh. Shields. Trying to multitask here. I don't think I'm doing so well. Let's stay away from that gate, shall we? I don't know what those other people are doing. I don't know if they know what they're doing. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, sweet. Oh, I didn't see what the recharge on this was. fire this. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, look at that mess. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, that is wicked. I like that. That's when you need to use it. Oh, shields. Okay, I need to get out of dodge for a moment. I'm just going to do this quickly. Show that. There we go. Shields again. Structural integrity. Look at this thing, just fire. Look at that. Ha ha ha. Like that. Let's give some power to weapons. Just go. All right. All right, now on to the big Borg tactical cube. Let's finish this. I got 23 seconds on that, so I think we're going to let that loose on this guy. time trying to steer this thing apparently okay there so because my video decided to uh, cut itself without uh, me actually doing any video editing because I did it all in one shot um, so I'm just gonna create this quickly uh, I might ramble on a bit but uh, we finished the STF uh, the board cube went down very quickly there was uh, we didn't have any other issues so um, if you're looking for a escort type ship on the Zen store or even for the uh, a fleet version uh, I would highly recommend the patrol escort um, it it's very very nice uh, that is I as, as you can see here I've changed it I've got the maelstrom um, saucer section on there it looks very mean looks it looks intimidating um, and this is and this is what I think an escort should be like something that's mean and that shows you know back off you know but uh, anyways um, the it's 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 worth it to get 
actually both both the fleet version and the Zen store version. Um, the the reason for it, um, you can get the fleet version for the the tail gun, um, and then you get the Zen store one for the Nadion Saturon Saturation bomb, which does which is absolutely awesome. I like I like that. That's pretty cool. Fires bombs, hits them, and then uh, it lingers around. So it's you know it's worth it. So, like I said, very, very, very nice ship, very versatile, very quick, very nimble, um, and it's got some nice fire firepower behind it. Um, so, yes, most definitely ver very much a very good escort um, type ship and uh, really worth the, 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 uh, the money and, uh, and, uh, and the, 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 and the, the time that uh, that you'll be using it because th most definitely this is something I'm going to be using for for a little bit anyways because it is it is ne it's new it's shiny and it is worth um, having around for uh, STFs um, so yes most definitely get this ship what are you waiting for get it get it now anyways this is Phoenix live long and prosper and we'll see you out there Thank you.